Hey guys, it's Movement Monday, and today we're taking a question from Jess and going over the balance beam. Welcome back to Movement Monday, everybody. Your opportunity to get the inside scoop on uh, some of the practices that we use here at Results Driven to help our members look, move, and feel better. Hopefully you're following us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube to keep up with all the cool stuff we're doing here at Results Driven, and we really do appreciate you stopping by today. Uh, today we're gonna go over the balance beam, and Jess asked if we could go over some of the finer points of something that we all love to hate, using the balance beam. The balance beam is a new tool that we've been uh, working with here at Results Driven. And when I saw this question, the first thing that I thought about was Gray Cook and how he talks about, uh, as opposed to barking at your clients and putting in, you know, telling them what we're trying to find, uh, putting them in a position to feel what we're asking them to find. Um, this could be on the balance beam. Sometimes we'll use dowels or put them up next to an object to help them understand what we're trying to accomplish with uh, exercise. So the balance beam is something that we've been using lately to put people in a position to feel what they're, we are asking them to find as opposed to stopping them during the exercise and saying, hey, you know, stop doing this or keep doing that. Uh, the balance beam has just been a really great tool for us. So here are three ways that we've been using it to help improve movement with our members. The first way we've been using it is to ask people to crawl on the balance beam. Uh, one of the big things that we do here is we are working on posture and uh, uh, crawling on the balance beam is a really crazy way to improve posture. Uh, we'll ask members to crawl on the balance beam, either hands and knees or hands and feet, and the only criteria for being successful is to make sure you try to stay on the balance beam and make sure you're breathing. And that's the only thing we ask you to do. And what you find is as soon as people hop on that balance beam on their hands and knees or hands and feet, automatically they find better posture. They have to engage their core to stay balanced on the balance beam. And then as long as they are keeping that posture and breathing, uh, what we're seeing is that when they go back to the exercise, whether it's a squat or a hinge or um, maybe uh, just crawling on the regular ground, uh, you'll see that they maintain better posture and alignment while they're doing the exercise. The second way that we've been using the balance beam is to help people improve their ability to move and breathe. Breathing while you move, I like Doc Chang's quote, that if you can't breathe in a position or posture, then that position is unsustainable. We don't think that you will pass out, but uh, if we're not getting enough oxygen to the brain, we're probably not thinking 100% clearly, and uh, then our nervous system gets all kinds of wacky and movement goes down the tubes. So uh, movement and breathing go hand in hand. Walking laterally on the balance beam, take me for an example, helped me squat better. So uh, one of the coaches saw me squatting, didn't like how the timing looked and the breath looked, so they asked me to walk laterally on the balance beam. All they said was find a balance between your foot and the beam, walk side to side, and make sure you're getting the breath low. So I didn't really wanna do it, I like squatting, but I did it to humor the coach, and sure enough, when I went back to the squat, the breath felt very comfortable as I pulled down into the bottom. So if you have a balance beam, or you've gotten your balance beam, or you're thinking about buying your balance beam, uh, think about walking side to side on the beam to help you work on movement and breath. Last, but certainly not least, one of the best ways to use the Balance Beam is right in the name, Balance. We use the Balance Beam to help members feel more sturdy on their feet. A lot of our members are getting a little bit older and so feeling stable on their feet is one of the biggest things that they're actually looking for. Uh, we do a lot of carries here to help them with that, but sometimes members don't know how to go slow. A lot of them are native New Yorkers, so we all know what the New York Minute is and so they move on that clock. So instead of barking at them and telling them to go slower, we put them on the balance beam and the balance beam puts them in the position to go slower. Uh, going fast on the balance beam is a, uh, is a tough task. So a lot of time they have to work on their balance and alignment as they stay on the beam. It's only an inch off the ground, so it's not dangerous. And over time, they're able to uh, control their gait 
with more control and they're uh, much stronger because of it. So if you're looking for a cheap, easy way to improve your training, either uh, go to performbetter.com, buy a balance beam from them, or go to your local hardware store and pick up uh, you know, a three inch wide by one inch thick piece of uh, plywood and uh, enjoy the challenge of going slow on the balance beam. Crawl on it, walk laterally, and do your carries on it, and um, you're gonna see a big benefit in the way that you're able to move um, during other exercises. Uh, so thank you for joining us for Movement Monday. If you're interested in all things Results Driven, make sure you're following us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, and go to ResultsDrivenFS.com to find out more. Thanks for joining us, guys.